And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. It's time for some Velton multi effects processing in a GP200 LT kind of way. Pedal show, my name is Kibor. All right. Too much enthusiasm. Hey, <laughs> hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. Got to check out this Velton multi effects pedal today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Thumbs up, ding the bell, all that good stuff. Please do. Help please do. Please do. And this was sent to us by the good folks at Velton. So it is a sponsored video full of lies. Yeah. Corruption. <laughs> Uh, open, okay. Open to corruption. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one's given us any money. Yeah, exactly. Or cookies, even. We, we, we do stuff for cookies. Yeah, baked goods. Now, uh, the Valton GP200 LT multi effects processor. Alex. G'day. I uh, hear you asking what it is and what it does. Sure, why not? So, <laughs> let's go with that. It's basically a, a rather affordable, but rather good sounding kind of multi effects. Amp sim, cap sim, all in one kind of pedal boards. Also, actually, recording interface because it is a recording interface at the same time mm. as well. It's sort of an all in one thing. And at the time of filming, uh, if you buy it directly from the Velton website, it's 279 US dollars. So it's quite affordable. People always ask us to put the money, how much it costs, you know, into videos. The cost. The cost. The money. The money cost. <laughs> it's 279 US dollars. Um, directly from Valton. So it's quite affordable compared to other things that are similar, maybe in a similar sort of kind of world, mm. like the HX Stomps, the mm. Boss GT stuff. You there's know, a there's a few things that are in a similar world. Definitely that kind of small, medium, multi effects thing. But this is quite affordable. So that's... Well, uh, let's that's, check it out, see what it thing. does today. We're going to do a kind of overview, get some sounds. Yeah, there's... His presets. Most likely multiple videos, so there'll be links to stuff and I'll probably... Do I don't know what we'll do, but there's a link to one there. I'm just going to st start start exploring and uh, see how we go. All right. So what I thought to start off with, let's just have a look. You picked this for some reason, Blue Sparkle. Uh, no, that's just what we ended up on. Oh, we just ended up on? Okay. Well, let, let's, let's just have a listen to okay. what this sounds like. This is now one of the presets, 20B, the Blue Sparkle, which is... Let's, let's have a look. Actually, let's have a look at what it uses. So we're using... Uh, we're using an... L Star clean amp. L Star. Mm hmm. The L Star. Uh, and there's a bunch of other things on it. So let's just see what let's just, let's just see what it sounds like. I'm going to, it's all direct, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No amplifiers, yeah. just straight into the logic. So st stereo direct. Yeah. <laughs> So that feeling, L Star, it's based on a Mesabuki Lone Star. It's just got, ah. if you download the manual, it's got the full effects list and amp list. And it even says, based on a Mega Boogie Lone Star clean channel. Cool. Preamp circuit has extraordinary expressive power to comp comprehensive tombo and intuitive operation uh, indicative of Mesabuki's far superior to technical capabilities. Holy moly, they're, they're loving a the Mesabuki. Uh, an engaging and lively tombo experience. It has more compressed, balanced, soft, mid-frequency sounds, and it's high-frequency like Gorgeous Bell. Gorgeous Bell. Okay. So that's the amp being used. So there's a bunch of things being used. Actually, let's just have a look at this, right? So let's just roughly have a look. This is a preset. This is 20B if you're playing at home. Yeah. Let's just have a rough look at the layout, basically, right? So you've got all these switches here. They're basically... It's not a touchscreen. That's one thing I should mention. And a lot of people are whinging about it. But again, at the price range, yes. HX Stomp isn't a touchscreen either. Sure. Yeah. So you have all these buttons here. Basically, if you push one of these buttons, you go into what they call sort of the edit mode. Uh, and it takes it to whatever the effect is. See, it says distortion, it says amp, it says cabinet, EQ. The ones that are not lit up are the ones that are off. So currently Y is off and the pre thing is off. So the ones that lit up, they're the ones that are on. And then you have this parameter knob. And within that parameter knob, you can scroll through all the effects. And there's tons. Yep, there's not literally short on options. No. Either. Effects, distortions, amps, there's tons in there. Uh, that's basically sort of how you get around. And then you, uh, you select whatever you want to select. And then here you have your basically the pedal controls, right? Uh, by pressing back, you always go back to the previous thing. That's sort of another good thing to know. You have a master volume, which is just a master volume out. You have a headphones uh, output because you've got a dedicated headphones output in the back. A show photo of the back. There's quite a lot of inputs. You have two expression pedal inputs. Mm. You have uh, an effects loop, 
which you can also move around. You can put it anywhere in the effects chain. That's cool. You have uh, your input, you have your stereo output, you have uh, MIDI as well, which is the mini jack to, um, I think there's converters in it, mini jack to dim converters for um, the MIDI stuff. You've got an auxiliary in as well, which you can use as a, if you wanted to play along with a, an iPad or something like that with some music. Uh, and you also have a USB-C connection because you can use it as an interface or you can connect it to a computer, which there will be another video on that. You connect it to the computer and have, there's an um, uh, editor that you can use on your computer. Now, the other thing is, basically, if you press the parameter button, you can scroll between different windows and then so it's, it's pressable and scrollable. The back button always goes back. Now, if you look at the main... Uh, view like this. Basically what it shows you, it shows you up the top here in blue, shows you what the uh, patches that you're currently on. Then those four things underneath it, so patch plus, patch minus, patch plus, control one and tap, it tells you what these buttons currently do. So patch minus just means you go down backwards through patches, that goes up through patches. Uh, control one is assignable to any effect or multiple effects. So you can assign that to turn either one effect or multiple effects on and off. And you have tap. Also, if you hold this, you go into a tuner. Within the tuner, you can also select if you want it to mute as you tune or you let the sound through as you tune. Obviously mute, because that's annoying. Yeah, and you can change the pitch <laughs> as well. So you can be 440, you can be oh, yeah, can you? ever so slightly out. So you can, you want to do that. You can change your pitch. Now, the other thing you have underneath it, it says bank, looper, and none. That is basically you have dual controls. So if you, for example, push both of these buttons, that's your bank. So then you go into the banks. And here again, it just tells you if you want to scroll down between the banks, you push both those buttons. Up between banks, you push both those buttons. If you look for something and you can't find it and you just want to go back, you push those two buttons and you go back to your last thing. Uh, those two buttons in the middle take you to the looper. Uh, which you also have lots of different things you can do with the looper. Uh, you can put it in different parts of the effects chain as well. You can you can change volume, playback volume, all that sort of stuff. We won't get into that too much. Uh, you can also go half speed and reverse with this. Uh, both of those is exit. So once you kind of get into that, it's quite easy to navigate everything you do basically. Yeah. There's also a drum machine if you're living in the 80s. There's also, so you have this button here called drum. And if you hold the button in, you go to your drum patches, basically, and you can select, you know, you want, I want, instead of pop, I want funk, jazz funk. That's that, and back, so on, takes so you out of it. So you, you, you have tons of different... Um, yeah. Drum sounds on there. You can also loop that and all that sort of stuff. There's, we won't get into that too much, but you can do all that sort of stuff. Um, you also have this button here for global settings. You go into the global settings. We might do a little bit more on that later on as well. right? So let's now, for example, uh, let's find a patch you like. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's go through a couple of patches, find one you like, and then see if we can start editing one of the patches a little bit. Sure. So this one's called Cold Winter. <laughs> So that turns the modulation on and off, which the modulation in that is uh, G-Roto. It's a, a rotary effect, I Shut guess, of some me. sort that turns that on and off. Uh, let's try just another one, Attention. The dog is very keen to do something. What are you doing? Holidays. <laughs> So let's take that for example. Yeah, right? cool rock and roll sound. Uh, so kind of like that sound. This, what does this do? This uh, turns a distortion and noise uh, reduction thing on and off. <laughs> the talk is really keen to do something. Um, so let's, for example, let's have a look at, right? So you have uh, this control button. Let's see how, it, let's try to assign this control button to something else. Okay. Let's say we like that distortion sound. We want the distortion sound to be on all the time. Yeah. But we want, what would you like to change with this control button? Does it have any Q? Maybe do like a mid boosty thing? Mid boosty thing? Okay, we can do that. So for That's example, we can do it. So we've got the EQ here. Yeah. By holding it in, you're turning it on, or you can just turn it on by this. So this is now, for example, EQ. 
So we've got uh, guitar EQ, guitar EQ2, bass EQ, mess EQ, mess EQ, oh, I guess mess EQ, and hyper EQ. Which Maybe one would you like? Is that mess EQ like a graphic? I have no idea. Uh, well, okay, so for example, now we click on that, right? So you know, I've got here, you've got 80 hertz, 240 hertz, cool. uh, 750 hertz. You've got those two little buttons there. That means there's another page. So, so, yeah. You press the push the parameter button, it goes to the next Ooh. page. So what would you like to uh, boost? Let's go 750. 750, okay. By three. I don't know, that'll do. Okay, well, let's just boost it and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Definitely makes a difference. Does make a difference. Definitely makes a difference. So let's now instead of having a distortion on this button, let's make the EQ go to this button. Let's do that. So what you want to do is sorry. Can make them both happen. Or both? Yeah, you can make them both happen. So uh, let's go to through this. Scroll up to patch settings. Yep. Right. And we press patch settings. Now you have here knobs one to three, so you can actually say because you have these what they call quick access mm -hmm. so you can set these three knobs here if i go back to here see this one says gain of the fuzz or distortion the tone of the distortion and that's a patch volume cool. you can assign these three to do any if you want to do quick edits you can assign that to do whatever you want to quick edit kind of thing right uh so we want to go into here that's what knobs one to three does yep. but we want to go into control settings because we want to say what this control does now, the only slightly complicated thing about this is now, it tells you here, control one, control two, control three, and control four. Uh, you actually can reassign this, so all four of these buttons are controls. So instead of that being your patch up and down, you can assign each one of them. We'll get into that later through the global settings. If you only have that one here, it's all control one. Even though it's the third button, gotcha. it's control one. If you have multiple assigned, that's control one, control two, control three, and control four. Does that make sense? Yes. But because you only have one control assigned, it, it goes to control one. So here it shows you the little tick, the distortion and the noise reduction is being turned on okay. by pushing that. Now, if you want the EQ as well, you scroll to the EQ, push the little button. So now, all they three all come, on. That's come on at the same time. Magical. So now if you go back to yeah. this, now, it's, all of them are off. And now all three of them go on, right? So, for example, the other thing, then we have the gain control here. So you can control the gain off the overdrive pedal that you've got. Sure. You can turn it up a bit more. Let's do that, for example. Let's just quickly have a look. So yeah. let's reassign, for example, we, I want one of them to be the delay time. So again, you go to make sure you scroll with this. So patch settings is selected. Mm -hmm. Click on that. And then we go knobs one to three. Now you have the three pages, and each page is for one knob. So the first page, now th that's bit just what that knob does. Second page is what that knob does. Third page is what the third knob does. So let's just make knob two, because the first one's a gain. We want the gain for the distortion pedal. Yep. Let's make the second knob. Well, we can maybe the mix, because that's the tap, right? That's the tap? Yeah, you want the mix? Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. Okay, so what we can do is now, we, we, on the second the second button is highlighted here, mm -hmm. uh, and we want we don't want this to be distortion. We want this to be, scroll until you find, delay. Delay. So we want it to be the mix. That's what you want it to be. Yep. Okay, that's what it's set to. So now it's... Ooh. It's it now is the mix. Right so you've got the tap and you have the mix here. So you can. So you can have it so it's all wet, <laughs> all wet as well. Yeah. Let's not do all wet. No, that's so. It... You could, for example, also... Actually, let's quickly do that. We do have a El Cheapo expression pedal um, plastic. in here. Yeah. You can assign a mix. You could assign a mix to the expression pedal. That's fine. So let's, for example, quickly go... Again, patch settings. Go into expression settings. Now, at the moment, expression pedal 1 is assigned to volume. Right. It's just, that's just what it, by default, yeah. it's assigned to. The other thing, actually, also I should say, is you can have... If you're using a TRS uh, expression pedal... Mm -hmm. 
you can actually assign a, an A and a B function to the expression pedal. Um. And you can actually assign a foot switch to switch between A and B. Or you can, because you have two expression pedal inputs, you can actually have, a, you can assign another pedal, not to be an expression pedal, but to be a foot switch. Gotcha. So you could, for example, assign another foot switch to switch between the A and B function of the expression pedal. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Without taking up these. Without taking up any, any stuff here. So, but let's now, for example, we want expression A, this one, right? Uh, we want this, instead of doing a volume, again, I just clicked on it. We just, instead of doing volume, we want it to be not off. We want it delay, and we want it to be the mix of the delay. Sure. So now, for example, we have it assigned. So this should now do the mix. And it goes, it goes from all dry to all wet, so it's a bit... Yeah. Let's find a middle there. But you don't want to go all the way to totally wet. So you can assign a minimum and a maximum. So sure. instead of the maximum being 100, let's make the maximum, I don't know, like 40. Sure. Let's see what that does. So we'll just do now. So you can set it to whatever you want. You set your minimum value and the maximum value. That's a I mean, that's the expression. And you can... So you have... Uh, uh, an A and a B for the expression pedal, so you can select between the A and a B, and you have two expression pedal inputs. So you can have A B C D. You can either have, for example, two expression pedals, mm. and then you can switch between what they do. You can have one expression pedal and a single foot switch, or one expression pedal and a dual foot switch, cool. and you can assign what the foot switches do, what expression pedal do. You can there's tons of options, right? So you don't take up any more of these. You don't use up any more of these. Uh, so that's that. Let's, for example, what is there anything you would like to add to this sound? Um, Modulation? No. What about if we try um, maybe a different cabinet, just to see what that Different does. cabinet. Okay, let's yeah. go to a different cabinet. So because there's heaps of there's tons. Okay. There, so right? there's in global settings, you have a thing where you can set up. Um, oh, it's it's not probably going there, but you can set up a thing that's matched cabinet. So basically, if, as soon as you change an amp. It will match the cabinet to it. You can turn it off so it doesn't automatically do it. You can also load your own IRs in it. So, for example, let's use one of the IRs I put in here. So, we're currently using that. Um, well, actually, this is a UK 50JP. Oh, That's cool. the amp we're using now for yep. holidays because we went to a different preset. Yep. Uh, so, for example, now, let's change a cabinet. The cabinet currently is the UK GRN2. Greenbacks. Greenback 2, yeah, I guess. Something. But let's just change the cabinet. So, for example, let's see if we can find one of the ones I put in here. Uh, there's a lot of cabinets in here. <laughs> Hang on, let's see. See your dog. Oh, here we go. So, for example, this is one of the Celestian Engel cabinets. <laughs> a green back 2x10 open back cabinet that I put on there. That's different. Yeah. So this is a green back 4x10 closed oh, back okay. for example. See, so I just put a couple on there so that I... Scroll through just to... If you don't... If you haven't done this before, um, the cabinet sounds such a big part of the tone. So right? this is a 4 by 12 for example, Greenback.
And yeah. I mean, once you scroll through to 60,000 amps, <laughs> there's a whole list. Again, if you can just for free download the manual, there's a list and it tells you what they're all based on. So which one were we using? An eagle. I'm going to say that's an angle, isn't it? Um, eagle, eagle, angle 4 by 12 cabinet, yeah. Cool. So, and then there's, for example, the next one, urban. <laughs> Bogner, Überschall, so oh, Uban, I guess, not Uban. And then Sodana, Orange. I mean, it tells you what they all are. Um, yeah. There's tons of them in there, and you can put your own IRs on there via the app uh, on a computer, which we'll get to at some other stage. Well, I think we've exhausted that patch. Should we try some other presets? Let's try another preset. And maybe mess with uh, something else. Brightside? <laughs> Maybe that turns it. Will that turn the Breaking tremolo off? So, for example, uh, actually, this is another thing we could do. So, if you go into here, for example, now with this, this control turns a distortion on and off. Yep. But let's say you like that sound, but mm. you go, you know what? I'd like to be able to turn a distortion on and off, but I'd also like to be able to turn other things on and off. Right reassign what these buttons do. So what you can do is you can go into global settings, right? Uh, you go to where well, it says foot switch. You click on that. Now this shows you, this is kind of default setting, what they call patch. It shows you what all the buttons do by default. So it shows you that this is patch up, patch down, control, tap. If you hold that one in longer, it's the same. Uh, hold that one in longer is tuner. Now, for example, you can go to, uh, ooh, wrong button. You can go to what they call stomp mode, right? So stomp mode now means these become your four different controls. So for example, if we select that now and go back to the patch. So now we have four controls here. So if we go into this now, this turns a distortion on and off. This turns a modulation on and off. This turns a reverb on and off. And this is not assigned to anything. So we'll assign that to something. So this is now everything is off. So, for example, I mean, you totally reassigned all this. You still now, uh, if you if you look here, it shows you everything about it. Uh, it tells you, for example, if you hold long this button, it's patched down. This is patch up if you hold it long, and that's still the tuner. Mm. So you can still hear to change patches, you hold it in for longer, and then the patches change. Uh, so now you can change patches. You still, by pushing both buttons, can go into your banks, right? Yep. But you have access now to four controls. Now, let's say you want this still to be a tap. You can do that. You go into, your, into foot switch, and you select foot switch four, yep. which is that one, and at the moment, it's control four, but you don't want it to be control four. You want it to be tap. So you can select what you want it to be. So it shows you here what it is, or there's a list there too. So you can make this your bank button. You can make this the bank down button, bank up button. You can make it a patch up button, patch down button. You can make this go to uh, 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 patch A in that bank, right? Mm -hmm. So you can assign. You could have that being A, B, C, D. It'd be just four completely different patches, sure. right? Uh, you can assign it to, to do that. You can assign it to be B, C, D. You can assign this to be the button to go to the looper. You can assign this to be the button to turn the drums on and off. So, for example, now... <laughs> that turns the drums on and off, right? So you can reassign sure. everything. You Also, if you're going into the foot switch settings, you also have a user setting where you can completely set up your own thing to just quickly recall it if you want. So what it does is it globally changes everything. That's a global settings change. So practically how you use that, don't get away. Um, sometimes, say if you want to go to different stages of distortional gain, you can either use an amp with boosts or distortions in front of it, or just go low gain amp, medium gain amp, high gain amp. Yeah. It's just different schools of thought. So um, if you want 
turn boost pedals on and off. That's where you'd um, set that up. That's where you set so it up. All the controls on one patch. And like I said, if you do use the expression inputs, you could mm. get a dual foot switch and you have two more switches plus an expression pedal, or you can have two dual foot switches and have four more buttons if you want. You can basically double the buttons if you don't need an expression pedal. So it's quite versatile in what you can do with it and how you can set it up. So let's not make that the drums now. Let's go to here. Mm -hmm. Let's make this. What would you like foot switch four to do? Uh, tap's always handy. Tap? Yeah. Uh, you sure you don't want to go through drum patches? <laughs> oh, see, so for example here, if you set it up to expression AB, now you can oh, set this up to do two... Let's do that, actually. So this switches now between two different things. So hmm. by default, right, so we're going to here again, we're going to patch settings and expression settings. By default, one is set to volume, and the other one, I guess by default, is wah. So if we go to this, this should be the wah now. Okay, so if we go back to the other one now, the first one, uh, volume is boring. Let's make it something more interesting. What should we do it? What should we make it? Uh, what about the depth of the tremolo? Depth of the tremolo. Okay, well, that's okay. So we go, we go to modulation. Yeah. We've got the triangle trim and we've got the depth here. Okay. So that's what it is now. So nice. now on green, it should technically, if everything... <laughs> You can blend in the tremolo. That's cool. So you can set go between the two different, yeah, different expression pedal settings. And the good thing, I guess, with the Y is it turns the Y off if you're not yes. there. So if you if you click on that, it you can see it turns the Y on. So you don't have to do the stupid. Toe so you don't thing. have to do the toe <laughs> yeah. thing. So so you can set that to be a Y. Sure. Or even cooler. Yeah. Way, way cooler. Expression what? 2. Let's make Expression 2 the pre-module. Um, because the pre-module... we got to go back here first. So we got to go... Uh, we got to go out of this. we got to go to the pre-module. And we've got to actually set the pre-module here. So we want the pre-module... Because, again, you've got millions of things in there. You've got compression in there. You've got boosts in there. You've got tons of stuff in there. But what we want to do is we want it to be... A pitch bend. <laughs> uh, because that's just the kind of guy I am. So we want it to be a pitch bend. So now we can go back into here. We go into here now. Patch settings. Expression setting. So now we're going... We've got... When it's green, it's the tremolo depth. Yep. But now we go into the second setting uh, here. So we want the pitch. Low pitch, wet, dry, range. The range. Does that do... What I think it will do? No. Oh, does it module on? Oh, we turn it on. Oh no, that's the wire. We don't want the wire on. We want the pre on. And then you go to the other one. It's not even annoying. So you go between pitch bends, you can set it up to be a whammy, a wah, volume pedal. And the cool thing is you can have a second expression pedal as well. Ew. Or a, you know, second foot switch. So I mean, that's basically... Ellie. That's basically sort of that. So we looked at how you change the knobs. Yep. You can change what the double control does. You can change what the long hold does. Mm. Uh, you can reassign what these... Did we do that? Yeah, we did that too. What these... Do. The quick access, the quick access controls, ones. Yeah. Um, we looked at. Oh, okay. Next thing. Uh, let's change the order of effects. Sure. Because I mean, it's sort of in a set order, but maybe you want the tremolo to be in a different part. Before right? the module. Maybe you want it before the distortion, right? Yeah. So that what you do now is you just go to anywhere along the where any of the pedals are selected, and you hold in the parameter knob. So now what you can do is you've got this thing called move. See, so I'm moving that. So now if I go to, for example, the modulation, this one is move, mm -hmm. right? So I can move it now to, let's say, before the distortion. Let's yes. see what, it, what that sounds like. Um. 
super choppy. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes not a huge difference. But you can move things yeah, to anywhere yeah. you want them to be. You can move things around. You can, um, you can. I mean, for example, let's move the reverb. Reverb. Uh, let's yeah. move the reverb in front of the distortion. Yeah, control, yeah. But we need to make the reverb a bit bigger, don't we? Move to the treble off. Uh, turn it, oh, yeah, turn, turn that off. Oh, hang on, modulation off. much cleaner if you move it after all the drives and all that sort yes. of stuff. So you basically have an option to move effects around. Now the last thing is also that you have, which is kind of cool, is you have uh, the effects loop. Uh, so effects loop, we're going to here, effects loop. So now what you can actually do is you can, you, I don't know if you can sort of see it, in front of the distortion here now, there's just two little arrows. Yep. And you have position, send position and return position. So you can move that where where in the chain you want the effects loop to send. That's cool. And where you want it to return. Uh, we don't have anything plugged into it at the moment. But yeah. default usually it sits. Uh, it's just because I moved. We moved stuff around. But default it usually sits after the amp. Uh, but you can move. It, you can move it around where you want it to be. You can also set. Uh, you have a send volume. Mm. Uh, you also have a return volume, and you can also have it parallel or series, which also, if you wanted to, because you can hook this up in four cable method to your amp as well, if you wanted to, you need to then change it, you know, so to make it work. But I mean, you can, again, with the effects, so you can pretty much insert it any way you want. You can change the effect order in any way you want. You can reassign the buttons to do any way they want, any way, to whatever you want them to do. You have a short and a long hold option. Yep. You can assign these two buttons, those two buttons, and those two buttons to do different things as well. I think, I mean, that's pretty much everything. That's sort of looking at everything um, it can do. It is pretty powerful as far as workflow goes. For a small so, budget thing, it's, yeah. there's tons you can do with it. And it actually sounds really quite good. And speaking of sounding really quite good, let's do a couple more sound examples. <laughs>
Alrighty then, so that was a look uh, at sort of all the functions. It was more the functions than the sounds of the Velton GP200 LT. Mm. Tons of things you can do with it. Uh, the sounds in it are quite good. Yep. Um, we'll do a second video with it where we maybe uh, look a little bit at the computer side of it computer. and maybe build a patch. Let's build a patch. Sure. Let's, Let's. patch on. Let's. Uh, to work out how to find that video, please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Hey, segue. That's probably a link down the bottom. Yeah, that too. What do you guys think? Comments below. Do you like the uh, GP200 LT something? multi, -effects multi -effects processor. processor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mouthful, isn't it? So big thank you once again to the good folks at Velton for sending this out yeah. to us. And uh, yeah, yeah, stay tuned for some more videos. If there's anything in particular you want us to do with this, let us know in the comments below. If you made it this far into the video, maybe there's other things you want us to do with it. So yeah, on that note, see you in the next one. Catch ya.